Glitch City. 2070X AD, a city that shouldn't exist, a tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to keep them in check. Over them stand the- What the fuck? I wasn't done reading! What the fuck? What? It, is that me? That's it here. Brutality in all its forms it, uh, is an everyday reality. The quality of life for the non-powerful decrease. Well, well, fuck you! I'm not done for so many. This can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs, their families, even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others just give up. <coughs> but for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. Isn't it the answer lay at the bottom of a glass? On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere in the slums, you can find the Hall A of the BTC Certified Bar, code VAL, or VA11, but that's a mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. That's nice. A small oasis in the middle of a concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. As long as they've got those 80 synths, I'm on board, I don't give a shit. And it's here where this story unfolds. Well, that's nice. Welcome to Valhalla. This is a user donated gift from uh, a particular user that likes to watch me play through stories that involve so many Japanese anime harem situations. I'm talking to you, you who gifted me Robbie Reby. Yes, you. Anyway, this is Valhalla. Holy shit, it's actually done 1.1.0.4. This is a text based. Um, this is game. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. I've got drinks and snacks, so uh, awesome. But uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, it's a bartending simulator, but it's text-based too. So I don't know. Anna, Psst. hey, over here. Boo! How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. This game, the game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll have to, I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check out that parcel you just got. See ya. What the fuck just happened? Okay, good. I thought the game crashed. <laughs> Which would have been a bad thing. Oh, yawn. Just a dream. Hmm, there's something near the door. Oh, that was just a dream? Oh, yeah, it was just a dream, because she just said that. Chapter one, primera. Fade out. <laughs> Let's get going. Your membership to Shining Fing... Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account here account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Uh, four. So who is that letter from? Jill. Nobody. Can I click on anything? Slide! <laughs> and you can't actually see it over here. It's just best boss. Uh, I'm actually using, um, if you, uh, hang on. Let's go over here. I had trouble recording this before. We'll go into the augmented eye. So you guys can read some of this if you want. It's all about immigration and stuff. I actually played this part of the game before, but uh, Shadowplay had trouble recording it. <laughs> they don't know shit, concluded Quincy. <laughs> and uh, it wouldn't let me record this. It just recorded my desktop. So I have to record using OBS now to to mirror, capture a mirror image of the screen. So you'll notice that I'm bigger in the game and everything, and and it's all colored differently than normal. That's, that's OBS. So Wonderlanders are the newest threat to your security. That's fine. We're just gonna go down here, and you gonna all read this, uh, since I've already read it. I'm not gonna waste your time reading it. You can kind of pause it if you pause the, um, costumes. Okay. And cyborgs and heels. You all can read this. It's basically just more about Quentin and all this other stuff. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never befo seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Cool. All right, we're out. Uh, life backup. So we're going to save. Yay. And we're going to go to work.
Because from what I remember, there's a lot of text. And we're going to keep these episodes kind of short-ish. Short-ish. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. These are very original names. We watch, we protect. Ooh, that's creepy. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? Oh, his name's Gil. When you let people call you Jules. Quiet. God, this music. Are you okay? You look distracted. Yeah, this music's amazing. No wonder I'm distracted. Where's boss? Dunno, she went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. I'm sorry, it's this music. I can't help it. This 80s new wave, vaporwave shit. I love it. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful. And, ah, uh, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself, which is always a good sign. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. Uh, oh my god, that synth saxophone is adorable. Oh, midi sax. Yes, I missed you. And there are all the beer cans around my apartment and Jill. Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case I don't need to go through the basics because I already know how to do all this stuff. Welcome back, Jill. Uh, he wants me to make a piano man, yes. Uh, by name, piano man. Two aldehyde, three Bronson extract, five powder delta, five flanagrade. Boop. Ba Whoa. Oh, all on the rocks and mixed. I fucked it up, my bad. God damn it. I know how to play this game, kind of. Not really. There we go. One, two, three. On the rocks. Boop. Boop. Success. Woo. All right. Get out of here. Yeah, before I forget, hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients, but if the recipe is already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Okay, go, bye. Oh, who are you? Who's that? I don't know, found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious ass back in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That'll be up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Bitch! You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have to work to do, damn it. There's two, there are two of you. Believe in yourselves. Believe in the you that believes in me. Do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing, crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Why is this? Okay. Yep. Because I like to see what I'm recording when I'm recording it. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay, then. Time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Uh, come again? While you spent the whole weekend and Monday, and Monday doing God knows what, we had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well, so as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. Yes. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before I can... Blah, 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 blah. We're just gonna in. We're gonna pick the music. So welcome to Valhalla's first. Ready? I can dance. Don't judge me. All right, we're done with that. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, you get me a beer. Whatever, man. You are all forehead and and no hair. He wants a beer. He looks like quite the big guy, though. So we're going to go to by name B for beer. Not bleeding Jane beer. $200. Okay, so Bronson extract, one powder, delta, two flanagrade. All oh, the carbatrine. Mix it. Oh, what? 
Oh, I thought, oh, Carmen Trine optional though. So it has to have the, oh shit. Uh, reset. I fucked that up. Da, 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 da. What am I fucking up? I know I had this problem the first time I played this game too. Where like I did something horribly wrong. Is it supposed to just like, are we? I, I don't, what, uh, fu fuck it. Uh, I'm doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing. Yeah, beer. Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Uh, sure, that beer wasn't enough apparently, so we're gonna make another one. Fuck, I, I did it wrong already. Success! And now, I said a big one, Brett. Big, like my dick. <laughs> Forget it, these two will have to do. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. You're a dick. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes like New Jersey 3 because there's three New Jerseys now. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of The Augmented Eye, which we were just reading. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for barrage, the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and no one else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice underscore rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it, my interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. Shut up! <laughs> well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scar scarred and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, electric guitar, thank you. Who composed this shit? Who composed? Hang on. Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly, I already love everything that's going on. Well done. I love it. I love it. It captured. Oh, God. If everything is this nice, it's good. Perfect. Now, you may be asking yourself, though, what makes this different from Robbie Reby? Um, there's actual composition. I, I, I would have to make a separate video to really get into the nitty gritty, but it boils down to this game doesn't annoy the shit out of me, whereas Robbie Reby does. Does. You're smarter than you look, kid, but if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get like people get dissenti dissens people get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Oh my god. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid murder stories, will see them. Which is true. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. Mom, don't text me! <laughs> oh my god. Mom, please stop. Please stop. No. <laughs> I love my mom. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone likes them likes a certain something that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about it is that they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? 
The kid on the restaurant critique column. Uh, shit, I forgot what that brat's name is. Restaurant? I believe that's that kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by, meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming in here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No, wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. I'm just gonna make the same goddamn thing I made you before, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. Boop, boom. One beer. Yeah, this is a beer, all right. Keep it up, kid. You'll get better someday. Fuck you. So tell me, does this... Do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. <laughs> Who is that? Nobody important. Oh, that's mean. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. Oh, I can change the channel. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> $59.99 for Top Ramen. Jesus Christ, I like you better. I don't know what you are, but I like you. You can think of it as small a smaller hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. No, not really. Fat synth, thank you. That thank you, lead synth. I needed that in my life. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. What, do you want me to take my top off? Fine. Fine. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Well, you don't seem very red carpet, so I'll keep my shirt on. Thanks. Those folks pretend... Those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but when they get what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer, to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong. But even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that the people love that kind of stuff. If they want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they were dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically public indecency, but still. Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that shit. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Wow, you're making a lot of assumptions. I don't really like you all that much. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make them more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public, but this problem exists because they're the ones consistently and constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Which he makes a very good point for someone who just had three beers. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of, all that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but Sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that dude that plays that nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating, instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. Do you, you, you like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two could play that game of... Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Pinky in the brain. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column tell, like, talking about those? Ooh, am I getting a job here? I bet they would, like, they would sell quite well. It would be like the priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know that it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. 
Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. <laughs> Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. If they're referring to me, they're, they're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no, but I want them to fear me, not because I'm their boss or their name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. I like this guy again. Change the channel. No signal. Oh shit, boxing? Hell yes. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Hassy zero. Ah, uh, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's the charm. Give me a beer. All right. Damn, this guy is racking up a tab. I'm good with that. One beer. Yeah, I guess this one's good enough for now. Good to hear. Mr. Donovan, can I ask you something? Depends on what you're going to ask. Is it about how to be successful? Because I'll only spout stuff from those shitty how to get rich books. No, it's not that. Well, not exactly. How did you start in this business? The Augmented Eye was a really important newspaper in Neo San Francisco almost 10 years ago. But there was a big mess involving the head editor being defenestrated. One thing led to another, and during a tough financial spot, I bought the whole thing and assumed duties as chief editor. Neo SF is still the HQ, but most of the revenue comes from here. Just being in Glitch City means at least 30% extra earnings. Oh yeah, I remember the news. It was quite a mess. And what made you pick a news website as business? It sounded fun. I decided it on a whim. I might as well have ended up with a hairdressing chain called Marcello. Anyway, I gotta go. Are all the orders paid for? Yeah, thank you very much. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yes. What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. <laughs> Crafty dogs, I tell you. You think their short legs would hinder them. The ceilings, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. Can I big gut punch? Fast. Okay. Yeah, we got time. We got time. We're running. Okay. He wants a gut punch. I want to give him a gun punch. All right. Yeah, me too. Gut punch. Optional karma train. All aged and mixed. Uh, gut punch is five. Bronson and extract. And one failure grade. We're going to give him all the alcohol and age it. Mix it. Boop. Success. Here. You can actually do it then. Huh. This crack house is a bar? Hellhole crack house? It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Mr. Ingram McDougal. <laughs> Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend, but it's Tuesday. Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to the motel for a couple hours? No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Damn, I hate you. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Someone recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here at all. After, and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. <laughs> I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll concede. Ooh, offbeats. Nice. Not slave to the four. Nice. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. On go the glasses. Yes, we do. Hey, Jill, where did you put the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience is stick a giant fork up your ass? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall riders all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement in a title I've never heard before. 
I know B Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out an armed rioter, take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved Class A 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard before. Coming right up. He wants a pile driver. I honestly feel like suplexing him, though. Three Bronson Extract. Three Flanagrade. And for Carmo Treen. All mixed. Here. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? <laughs> what the shit? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you've ever faked an orgasm. We just went from like PG to R, and I'm okay with that if you're okay with that. Yeah. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, the lie can mean something, can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Dude, I'm about to throw some flanagrade at your face. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. All right. Fringe weaver. Nine karma treen? What the fuck? This guy's gonna puke all over my fucking floor. It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> all aged and mixed. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Yeah, but I gotta clean up your mess, you dipshit. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty like... Empty how? Like, hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I have! Because I don't have enough subscribers. Nah, I'm kidding. I just feel like there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? I might, it might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading bungee, reading bungee jumping, combat sports exercising. So it's a lot cheaper than the alternative, which is bitches and alcohol. Oh my God. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. I once burned through my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. What are you doing? I also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row. Now, what? Also, I just noticed he's got, like, sc a scar across his neck. Nothing seems to do it. Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies! <laughs> At least you shouldn't! What is this guy? I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Huh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Who is he, Dr. House? Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Fuck you! Whew, boss, I'm gonna take my break. All right. Jesus Christ. Ooh. 2069 Sukiban Games. Oh, this is retro as fuck. I love it. Save. Yes, please. Jesus Christ. All right. Holy God. No, we're done. I'm done. We we are out of time, but this game is fantastic. I love every little bit of it. Oh my god. From the dialogue feeling genuine and authentic to the music fitting so perfectly with the setting. I just they built this whole world that I'm I'm so eager to dive into and I'm definitely going to play more of this. It is a bit of a text wall though. So, if you like what you saw, 
like, leave a comment. Let me know what you're expecting from this game. No spoilers, because I really want to, I, I want to sink my teeth into this. But thank you for tuning in. This is Valhalla, another user donation. Thank you for donating it to me. And if you have any other games you want me to play, go ahead and let me know. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>